Hi friends, I'm David from Learn Stage Lighting. And one of the most common use cases that we see with the Onyx NX1 is people get it, they're happy with it. You got your four universes out of the back or maybe you're looking to buy one and you know it's got four DMX ports on the back, but it's actually licensed for eight universes. So how do you get the other four out? In this example, we're gonna show you how to do that with a Netron node. Now, you could also set up an NXP, uh, and if you need help getting any of those, we're dealers, and we wanna be the most helpful dealer in the world. So just shoot us an email, gear at learnstagelighting.com, or go to learnstagelightinggear.com, request a quote, what have you, and uh, if you do buy Onyx through us, we bundle training with it. Uh, and so we would love to help you, because you gotta buy it somewhere, right? Uh, we we wanna be that place. The NX1, uh, you can hook up an NXP, and then it's pretty simple to set that up in the settings. What's a little more difficult, but really helpful, is using a Netron node. So the NX1 is going to send out networked DMX, ArtNet or SACN, uh, out of its Ethernet port. It can send all eight universes that it has. So this tutorial could apply to, for example, a Netron EM12. It has 12 ports on it, okay? You could do up to eight universes on that, and the remaining four ports could be duplicates of other universes, so you wouldn't even need a DMX splitter. In, in a 12 universe rig, that's an incredibly priced way to get output and splitting with RDM for 12 universes. Okay? Um, but another example is just in a lot of places, right? You got four ports on the back, that's great, we'll use them, but then you need another four ports. Enter a Netron node. So this one today we'll be using is the EN4 but you could use any combination of EN4, EP4, EP2, all of those. The reason why I chose the EN4 is that A, I've got one right here, um, B, I do have a two though, um, but B, instead of like the EP, this one has the screen, so it's a little bit quicker to configure on camera. Though the EP4 can also be configured great for permanent installs if you never need to change it, then don't bother getting the screen, save the money. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead, Plug this guy in, short ethernet cable in this case, just direct to the NX1. If you don't have your NX1 on a network already, it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. If it is on your network, we'll talk about that in a second. Plug it right in, plug in power, which of course you can on the EP4 or EN4. What do I have here? You can power come through to your console if it was right next to it, for example. Um, and so now it boots up. Now there's a couple things we gotta do to get output. Okay, so the first is I'm gonna do node first. I'm gonna click on it. I don't know if you can see what's on the screen, but I just scroll down to presets, the top item, Netron presets. And I'm gonna do, go up to the top and do number eight, SACN2.x. Universe zero is the first universe. Actually universe one is what it would be with SACN and that's what it kind of tells you. And then you can back out of that. You're set up, you have an IP address, it displays that your universe one, two, three, and four on your four ports. Duh. Now let's do the console side. So we're just gonna go right here, hit Onyx, hit menu. Then hopefully you can see this well, Ether DMX. We just go to SACN, we toggle on right there. Output, universe range, set there is where you're gonna set whatever universes you're sending out. The NX1 is only licensed for eight, um, but you know if you wanna only do the four that you're doing, whatever. Honestly, sending one through eight's not gonna cause any problem on most networks, especially if you're just direct connected with the cable, it's gonna be fine, okay? So, universe one wants to stay through eight. Awesome. Priority, that's if you have multiple consoles. Don't need that. Uh, override options, don't need that. Everything else, just ignore that. Press apply, uh, and you are now good to go. Um, there is an IP settings option. You can hit that, make sure you're on Ethernet, DM, Ether DMX, press apply. Now, back to our Netron node, boom. I see here, I'm in the demo show file. Universe one, two, and three have lit up blue on the screen of the Netron. Um, the reason why I only got one through three in blue is because that's all that's active in this particular file. 
So I'm going to back out of the menu in, in Onyx. And if I want to on the Netron node, if I wanted to do, say, 5 through 8, I would start with the preset and then just go on the node. This is so easy. You just go in here. Hopefully it's clear. Hit this. Hit DMX port. So I loaded the preset first. Port 1. Output. Then just go to my universe as the second one. Toggle in. Switch it to whatever universe I want. Back out of there. Do that for all four ports. Nice and easy. And so, as you can see, setting up a DMX node, especially a Netron one, with these Onyx NX ones is really a piece of cake. They're both built for quick configuration and ease of use. If you have any questions about the NX1, Netron nodes, or any other Onyx or lighting products, just head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear, and if you're looking to buy something, go ahead, fill out our quote request through adding stuff to your cart and filling out a quote. We would love to help you answer any questions you have get you some personalized pricing, and also bundle in free training so that you can have our courses on Onyx. And we are, as you probably know, the Onyx experts here at Learn Stage Lighting. We would love to help you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. See ya.